ADB is very proud of this partnership with ASA Philippines. Their approach to microfinance, despite coming from a commercial perspective, is a very good mix of both the development needs of the clients as well as ensuring that they run a financially sustaining business model. Unlike other uh, MFIs, ASA is equally divided through all the three main areas of Philippines. I saw business on the na motor forge, I would be in a sari sari, din extension on a hard block. I'm the commissioner, so I bought a question. I'm not going to be in a tear and a meow, what name I'm a singer. Mia Puno, Mia Puno, Purumanga, simply the Mia de Solang, Peru, Sokia, Peri, Tami, Asa, Purumana, Dikia, Guanami. Ya Pacuna, Purumana, Simula, Ami Purumas Asa. Asa is the first. NTT to react whenever there is a natural calamity or a disaster in any of the areas that they cover. This is a very different approach compared to how traditional MFIs look at their role with borrowers because they look at income generating activities and in a situation of distress in the environment, they tend to withdraw from there, unlike ASA which actually steps up its engagement in these situations. That's something that ADB has also learned that microfinance by itself can be a very important vehicle for disaster relief. We devise different strategies. There are so many adjustments today we have made so far. And um, if you look at the performance of ASA Philippines this year, 2021, we already recovered from the losses of last year. So we are actually in the way to recovery from the pandemic. Together with the support that we are receiving from all of our creditors, particularly um, our ADB support. Parang bigyan namin sa ako nga siyempre, pandemic pa, mga kailangan ako.